Welcome back to Game Development with Pi Game. This is part eight of our shmup game. Uh, and in this video, we're going to learn how to add sound effects and music. So if we want to add sounds to our game, we need to find some sounds that we would like to use. Now there's all sorts of ways to get sounds. Um, open Game Art is a great place for all sorts of different sound effects, just like it is for art. But um, what I'm going to show you today is this website called bfxr.net. Now this is a really awesome tool for generating your own sound effects. Now, it looks a little scary at first. Don't worry about all these sliders and things because we don't really need to do much with them or we can play around with them later. Uh, but what we can do is with these buttons over here, by clicking them, you'll generate a random sound of that type. So for example, this shoot one. Every time I click it, it's going to get another random shooting kind of sound. So like this first one that I did, see how it lists them down here? So it just keeps adding them to this list so you can go back and find the ones you made. So if you don't like one, you can get rid of it. If you like one, you can keep it here in your, in your list to use later. Um, you can even change its name here. Okay. Um, and so clicking over here, you can play it again. And all these little sliders are just different ways to modify that sound. Um, you know, maybe the frequency you want it higher pitched. Now it's higher pitched, or you want it at lower pitched. Oop, that's too low. You know, and you can play around with all sorts of different settings to get it the way you like it. Uh, we are going to need a shooting sound for our ship when it shoots its laser. And we're also going to need an explosion kind of sound for when the uh, meteor gets blown up. So as you can see here, there's all sorts of different kinds of explosions you can get. And this can be endless fun. You can play around with this for a long time. When you have found a sound you like that you want to keep, um, like so, for example, this laser, um, you just click on Export Wave. Don't click on Save to Disk. It's not going to save it in the right uh, file format for our Pygame to be able to use. But if we do Export WAV, WAV is a file format, a way of saving the file that uh, Pygame will be able to read. So you just click on Export Wave and save it however you like with whatever name you like. Uh, don't forget the name because you're going to need to use that name to load it into your game. So I've done that, and I have created in my folder, just like we created the IMG folder to hold the images, I've created an SND folder to hold the sound. And I've put in there two different explosion sounds. I found two that I liked, um, that one and that one, which is a little deeper. Um, and I'm going to have, just to have a little variety, every time a meteor blows up, it's going to randomly pick one of these sounds okay and then I also have a pew pew sound for shooting my gun that's nice and short and then I have this this is something different this is music so this is a some background music that I want to play be playing in the background of my game and I got this song off of open game art and you can find the link below uh, if you look for it, or if you want to use a different uh, piece of music, you'll be able to do that as well. Now we can start working on the code to get the sound working. And the first thing I wanted to discuss was if you go over to the Open Game Art page for this piece of music, uh, this is the one that I had downloaded, this artist uh, has placed in the description here something called the attribution instructions. And that means he's asking that in exchange for using his music for free, that you follow these instructions, which are he would like this little bit of text saying that he's the one who made it um, to be placed somewhere in your game. So I'm going to just copy that and paste it up here at the top um, as he asked. Uh, now for the Art we used, Kenny didn't actually doesn't actually require you to do anything. He actually says you can do whatever you want with my art. Um, 
It doesn't hurt, though, to be friendly and put um, that it's from Kenny. And I'm going to go ahead and put that there since we're doing attributions right now. OK. Um, so now we need to uh, add a little bit to use our sound folder, just like we did with the image folder. We're going to just figure out the path to that. So we'll be able to reference or look up those files that are in that SND folder. So let's start by going down to our here where we're loading all the game graphics. Well, we also need to load all the game sounds. Okay. Oh, and by the way, Remember, if you remember back when we first made this template, we put pygame.mixer.init in here. This is the thing that starts the sound sound system. If you don't have this line, then you will not be able to play sound. Uh, so we put that in ahead of time. If you don't have that, make sure you add that back in right after pygame.init. OK, so we're going to load our game sounds. Now we want to do that by using um, the same, basically it's the same kind of process as when you load graphics. There's a command to load that graphics or that sound file, and then there's going to be a command to play that sound file whenever we want. So for example, uh, for our pew pew sound, our oops, our shoot, our shoot sound, okay, that's going to be pygame.mixer.sound with a capital S. And then you just put what file you want to look at. So we're going to say path.join sound oops, SND, comma, and I called mine pew.wav. So you're going to put whatever the file name of your sound you want is. And that's our shoot sound. And if we go up to our player, in our def shoot is when we spawn a bullet. So if we want to make, play the sound whenever we spawn a bullet, then we're just going to say shoot sound dot play. As simple as that. Let's give it a try. There we go. Now I've got some nice pew pew sounds whenever I shoot. Now that we know that works, we can add our explosion sounds. And for the explosions, remember I had two different uh, explosion sounds that I wanted to use. So I'm going to make a list uh, called explosion sounds um, that's going to hold all of them. And then I'm just going to say for, uh, I'm just going to do a, a list of both of these, expl3. Uh, .wav and expl oops, expl 6wav or what those happen to be named. Okay, so for each of those, I'm just going to load them and stick them into that list. So dot append, and what I'm appending is pygame.mixer.sound path.join. each of these things. So then I'll have a list of just both of those. And then I have, so then I have that explosion sound. So now up here, or sorry, down here, when we actually destroy a mob, when we destroy the mob, we want to play a random sound out of that list. So we can just say uh, random.choice expl sounds. So make a random choice of the explosion sounds and play it. And that should let us see, or sorry, here. Sometimes I hear the high pitched one, sometimes I'm hearing the low pitched one. That's going to work really well when we have explosions and not just disappearing meteors. And last but not least, we need our background music, which is going to add a whole lot of personality to the game. 
And we do that by, it's slightly different than the way sounds work because this is music that we want playing continuously in the background. So we say mixer.music.load. And then we have to say what, what file we want. So path.join sound, sound folder, and then the file name, which happens to be kind of long, if you recall. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in there. And that's the name of the, the file. Now, it just so happens that when I first tried this sound out, the music was pretty loud, and it was a lot louder than the sound of the uh, other sound effects. So I'm going to take the, the music and also do a command called set dot music set volume. And that lets us set the volume to a lower level. So I'm going to set it to 0.4. So I want it to be background music and I want to be able to hear it, but I don't want it to be louder than everything else in the game. Later on, when we have a menu, we can have the players can choose what setting they want, and then we'll be able to change it there. So now we've loaded the music. Uh, we want to start playing it. We want to start playing it right before the game loop starts. So we could put that right here, right before the game um, loop starts, and just say pygame.mixermusic.play. And then in the parentheses, you can set things like whether you want if you had, for example, a playlist, you, you want it to play one time and then play a different song, um, whether you want it to loop, and how many times you want it to loop, and so on. I'm going to say we want to put loops equal negative 1. And that is an option that, that uh, tells Pygame to loop it. Every time it reaches the end of the, of the music, it's going to loop around to the start again. And it's just going to keep doing that over and over again. So however long we play, the music will continue to loop. Okay. And now we should have some nice adventurous background music. <laughs> <laughs> 